Hey there, K. Kevin. How are you guys doing today? Good, good, good. Very good. Thanks for having us. Of course, yeah. Thanks for making a movie to talk about. <laughs> we're trying, we're trying. <laughs> um, I wanted to start by asking, which of you initially had the spark for this particular um, project? Um, I would say that I... I had it living here in the town where we shot um, or we filmed uh, it, it the the need to want to do something to want to make it you know make another feature um, we had wrapped a feature um, and had released one I guess a year before or so Nick I can't remember but um, yeah just living here in my town here in Warren County um, in Pennsylvania um, it has a great landscape and I was thinking, you know, Nick and I knew we wanted to make a film. Obviously COVID was happening, but um, this area wasn't really uh, being hit yet. There weren't cases. So um, we wanted to hustle and get something going, but um, I ended up seeing these two brothers in a play in a high school play. And I was like, these guys might be good I did for something like that. Some, you know, there was no concept yet. So I had texted Nick and we were back and forth on it. Um, let's do something. This might work. Let's figure something out. So um, the next thing was kind of sending Nick, you know, photos of, of the landscape here. Um, it's so beautiful. Um, uh, it's national forest. And uh, we just started kind of, you know, formulating some, some ideas, some storylines and what we could do. So, um, so when, when you, sorry, I thought you were finished. <laughs> no, 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 go ahead. You're all right. When you uh, initially, um, you know got set up to film in the forest mm -hmm. did you have to go through the trail that you had planned on going and make sure there were no like dangerous like sticks or anything anywhere yeah we we had to um kind of uh prep the locations in a way that that we could you know yeah nick and i would kind of just go in and assess it and say all right well this is how we can handle the logistics here for filming and for, you know, blocking the actors. And um, it took a lot of us, you know, some of it was quick, but some of it was uh, took a while where we had to really kind of think it through. Um, yeah, Nick, you know, you have more to add to that, but. Yeah, I think, I think we kind of, um, kind of piecemealed it together. Like we kind of had the journey mapped out in our heads and on, on paper and then would kind of go to each like landing spot and kind of assess, you know, logistically, you know, safety and, and, you know, how to shoot it and, you know, kind of putting it, putting it all together, if that makes sense. So it wasn't one continuous thing. It was kind of piecemeal together. Okay. Uh, more of a silly question about the forest. Were there any times where you were shooting where wildlife made it uh, so that you had to like stop and start reshooting, like maybe any animals. You have or some deer, like maybe. Yeah. yeah, it was just deer. Um, that that had kind of. I mean, on the lake, <laughs> in in the lake scenes, it was boaters that were making it tough. Yeah, we that actually to... that was the hard. That, yeah, that the hardest was actually not animals. It was, it was humans. Humans. Yeah, the lake scene <laughs> was really tough because there were people on pontoon boats, and we were trying to make it desolate feeling. And it was like they'd come in the background, and we was like, "Cut! We got to, you know, we'd have to reset." So, uh, yeah, the kids but, jumping off rocks, rocks. And <laughs> jet skis, and having fun, and it's supposed to be scary. So, yeah, that's fun. So, how did you guys land on the title? And were there any other titles that you had considered prior? Yes, we just were, we're talking about that. Um, we had what was it? Unhinged, unturned. Uh, they we were basically like, were just. It was one of those things where you you just you we we really didn't know what to call it, and we were just saying every bad idea we possibly had, and we're like, just like, what is the most basic thing? Like, what is this? Like, what are they doing? And we would like say, boys walk, forest, <laughs> dirt, road. You know, like we were just. Yeah. Uh, and then I think it was kind of a joke at one point where we were just like, well, what is it? It's a long, or dark, dark trail. You know? And uh, then looking at the text, like the font, I was like, we both were like, this is it. We, you put it in red and we we're like, this is the, this is the fucking font. This is it. This is the title. I was going to uh, say it worked yeah. pretty, pretty damn good. So yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Were there any, um, let me rephrase that. When you guys initially were creating the script, did you see th through the lens of, of one specific character or were you just trying to look at it through everybody's eyes that was in the film? I would say everybody's eyes. Um, I don't know, Nick, you want to elaborate, but um, certainly everyone's eyes. I mean, everyone's perspective, everyone's sort of, um, you know, lens, if you will. So, yeah, I mean, I think at the at the core of it, I mean, it's obviously it's the brother's story. Um, so from like a point of view of um, the audience, I guess maybe theirs you know mm -hmm. because it is their journey but i think you know anytime you're making a movie you know you have to incorporate all the characters point of views you know and, and try to understand where they're all coming from um so i don't know if that's kind of a cop-out on an answer but i think um, <laughs> no. yeah i mean i think you have to definitely yeah you have to take everybody's uh perspective into it into account but i think at different maybe, levels uh, right yeah you know yeah. like maybe from a visual storytelling point it was more the boys because it is their their journey i guess if that makes sense when did the two of you start working together because i, th I think tyler, uh not tyler kevin mm -hmm. i think kevin you had mentioned that you had worked on projects prior yes yes um you mean as far as um Nick, okay. yeah, Nick and I, we, yeah. we, gosh, we go way back. Um, we met in New York and then I had moved out to LA. Uh, when he, he and I still kept in contact, he was making, um, he was just acting in New York, uh, and in, and in, um, school as well. Uh, but he ended up coming out to LA. Wait, was it that you, yeah, he made a short film in New York, New York, and then I was working, making stuff in LA, and then he came out, stayed with me, we started just working on, you know, I think we, we were doing Funny or Die sketches at that point, um, and releasing them on there, and then we moved into um, pitching comedy, and uh, pitching a lot of TV, a lot of pitching, and then um, just working on feature scripts, weren't quite filmmaking yet, but um then we started making our own shit. We were like fed up with the circles we kept going in and we were like, what are we doing? Let's let's, you know, I always make it analogous to making a record as a band. Right. It's like or behind you comics. It's like you just want to you want to create it. you got to put it out, do it. You know, so we as far as filmmaking, we decided to start putting uh, putting our own stuff out there and started with short films and then um, kind of went from there. So what was the road then between comedy and the long dark trail like what what sw switched you to complete opposite i'll let nick handle that one i don't know why the hell we did that why, why <laughs> did we we just decided. Well, i think you know kevin and i are are similar ages and grew up you know kind of with with similar kind of movies and i think um I think we really like comedies um, and mm. naturally kind of started kind of making uh, some of those. But I, I think we've always kind of been back and forth, to be honest, like even with some of our short films, I think we have like very much um, a dark, creative kind of uh, taste in certain things. And then also love like broad 80s John Hughes kind of comedies, you know. So I, I don't know, it, it's we we kind of always ping pong back and forth. I think we would do comedies to kind of relieve maybe some of the heaviness of some of the drama and horror stuff and um, just to keep it light again. And then we'd go back and be like, oh, we want to do something a little more serious, a little bit more. So I think I don't know. I don't know if that, that's an answer, but we've always we've always kind of ping pong back and forth a little bit. So did, were there any uh, bits in the script initially, uh, like maybe major plot, plot lines or character wise that you ended up having to change or choosing to change when you went to, oh, guess. oh you're good, uh, just um, that you ended up 
are having to change or choosing to change from the script to when you were filming the film, the movie? Yeah, very much. I mean, a lot. This was this was very much kind of an experimental film in a lot of ways. Um, you know, it was right towards, you know, towards the end of COVID. Um, it was, you know, one of those things where, you know, we didn't have a lot of time. We kind of um, just decided that we wanted to kind of be creative and make something and kind of reverse engineered it a lot in a lot of ways. So, you know, we had a script. It was probably a, a looser script than we usually work with. Um, so we definitely had to adjust and be and be flexible for when we were shooting and then also in post-production. So uh, I guess it was it was ever changing, ever evolving um, from our, our initial our initial script. Mm -hmm. um, I had written notes. Um, as far as the. Um, As far as the two brothers that you had cast, you said they were in a play together. So mm -hmm. was it, um, did they have the chemistry together? Was it easy for them to fall into these roles that were so um, connected? Yeah, it was much, it was very easy for them to, it helped with them interacting. They weren't, you know, not being strangers. It was just, they could go into, which Nick and I kind of pushed them into, you know, getting in that mindset of, 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 you know, just being brothers, the way that they were going to those places where they would get, you know, they'd get feisty with each other growing up and kind of get in that mindset in certain scenes. And um, they had, they were great in that manner. It helped a lot because they were lived, they lived together at the time, obviously in the, you know, Carter's in college now, but um, they, yeah, they would rehearse, they would hang out, they would, get, you know, it was it helped a lot. I mean, that that they and I mean, they didn't have any, um, you know, film experience, but geez, they were they were just ready to just go after it and 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 attempt it. So that that was that was helpful for Nick and I. So. So is there anything about the film that I didn't ask that you guys would like to share that maybe people don't ask often? Um, Nick, do you have? Um, I would just say like one of the things that we are kind of, you know, pushing is, you know, Kevin moved back to his hometown where he grew up, which is where we filmed the movie um, and that we tried to incorporate a lot of local artists um, and kind of, you know, be, thank the town for embracing us. So, you know, the one thing that we are saying is, um, you know, we we had a local artist do artwork for us. Um, we had a local drone operator, we obviously the boys. Um, so we tried to kind of give back to the community in that way. And, um, you know, we're, we're releasing a vinyl version of the soundtrack um, with some limited kind of uh, color variants and, and some cool artwork and, um, and maybe a mini comic and some cool stuff like that. So, um, and yeah, again, he did a mini oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, local artist uh, did that for us as well. So, um, yeah, and we just shot a new movie in Kevinstown also um, right before Thanksgiving. So trying to kind of build and give back to that community and and uh, and do it in a small town. So we've been kind of trying to push that as well. Was there um, last question from from me before I wrap for you guys? Was there anything more difficult than the boats, you know, making noise that was uh, a pain when you guys were trying to shoot? <laughs> I'm going, I have two things that come to mind. <laughs> the heat, because it was July and Pennsylvania can get very humid. So it was heat. It was bugs. Ton of bugs. A lot of bug spray. And the fire scene in the end, there's like the huge bonfire. Um, that was kind of crazy to to navigate uh, through through the night. I, I don't think we ended till two three in the morning, right? Uh, no. that, that was the one I was gonna say. I think I yeah. tried to. I think I tried to quit that day. Yeah, I think he. Was <laughs> I was. He, he I was said at, <laughs> I was acting in that scene, and of course, of course, it's like the longest day 
with all extras and children and fire and night. And it's like the very last scene of the very last longest day I had to try to act. Yeah. And I, I said to Kev, I was like, I don't think I can do it. I, I think he, he was checked out. He could he could just was, psychologically. He was. Done. I was like, we like, do we just do I just quit or do could we could we just do this? Some like, I, yeah. So I would say it was that. tough. It was that, tough, but we 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 fought through it though. I mean, it, it and that's the fun is when we look back and we say, holy shit, what a shit show, what chaos. But man, we we created some art out of it, and and it was it, we were able to execute the film, and that's that's like most important. So. Do you know, like, can you promote when you guys plan on releasing that vinyl you were talking about? When are we going to release that vinyl? Uh, uh, we don't. So the, the movie comes out officially February 21st. Um, we don't have a hard date on the vinyl, but probably within two two to three weeks after that, I would think. Okay. And uh, we'll, we'll be our social, probably, probably Instagram is the best way to kind of keep track of that it's at 418 films it's all all spelled out um mm -hmm. and we'll be having announcements when we have a, a a set date but definitely after the release of the movie probably within a couple of weeks we're thinking and and um, joe we have, we have a mini comic that we are working on releasing there's a the artist that's in my town is fantastic he's rl black if you check him out on instagram okay uh, you'll dig his stuff i'm sure but um he's a great uh he's doing i mean he's releasing a graphic novel um soon um but uh really talented i think you'd probably enjoy his stuff so okay so that's rl for viewers and listeners that's rl black and 418 uh films all spelled out yep um so make sure to check these guys out um uh, especially if you love the movie uh, my question is, is there anything else that you guys would like to plug, um, like things coming up outside of uh, stuff involved with the Long Dark Trail? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, yeah, we obviously we're pushing the Long Dark Trail coming out and the vinyl and the mini comic. We did film another movie um, that hopefully we'll know some more information in the spring, but um yeah definitely planning on having another another horror movie coming out uh within the year so okay awesome um well you guys were great to speak with i really appreciate you guys coming on and we appreciate uh, it joe hopefully we'll speak for your next horror film thanks Sounds so much good. appreciate it buddy of all course, right thank you, guys you. Have a, you guys have a great one you, you too well. buddy. thanks see you